are going to do arteries below the diaphragm. So here is the diaphragm right here. And we did arteries and veins above the diaphragm. And then we did the legs. Now we are going to do it arteries below the diaphragm, which means in the abdominal area. Now, there are three main arteries which are unpaired. The first one that you can see right here, this is your celiac. Celiac is going to give three branches, one to hepatic, one to gastric, and one to splenic as gastrosplenic. So this right here that you are seeing, this one is going all the way and it's going to the, you can see right here how this artery is going all the way here to the spleen. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. So this is your gastrosplenic. This right here, the second one that you are seeing is your, this right here is your gastric, okay? And look at it, it's going to the stomach. So that is how you're going to figure it out, okay? This, trace it and see how it is going in the liver. Do you see that? This one? Huh? Yes. So these are the ones which are going into spleen, stomach, and your liver right here. So this is your number one. Number two right here is your superior mesenteric. And you can see it is going to the mesentery, right? Mm -hmm. Right here. And then the third one is your inferior mesenteric. And you can see it is going to the mesentery, but it's going to the large intestine, right? And the superior mesenteric, that is going to your small intestine. Did you mm -hmm. see that? Yes. Okay. Now we Can are going to look at the knives are cutting brains. I would not know. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. Okay, the next is your unpaired uh, one. Sorry, the paired ones. We are going to look at the paired ones. And let's look at these over here, okay? So we are going to look for two. This one is adrenolumbar. This one is iliolumbar, okay? And look at it, it is in the ileum area and in the lumbar area, right? Mm -hmm. So that is why it's called iliolumbar. Adrenolumbar, it goes to the adrenal gland as well as to the lumbar region. You can see how these two are curving, right? Now, here you can see it a little bit better. This is your iliolumbar. I'm sorry, this is your adrenolumbar, and you can see how the branches are turning in here and are coming over here, okay? You can see this branch coming out, which is the vein, but there is an artery going parallel with it as well, which is going to go to this area. So on top of the kidneys, all this fatty tissue that you are looking at, this is your lumbar, uh, th this is your adrenal gland, okay? And it is supplying the adrenal gland, but the branch or the branches are going to come out of the adrenal lumbar branch, okay? Which is more clear here. And you can, oh, here, uh, you can see here is the lumbar, uh, the adrenal gland and how it is a kind of uh, going there, right? Then you have the renal artery, and you can see the renal artery right here, right? Did you see? Mm -hmm. So we have paired ones, adrenal, lumbar, iliolumbar, renal, and then the next one is your gonadal. Now, let's look over here. Gonadal, keep in mind, that is going to be very thin, very small, and it will go to the gonads. So you see this right here? Blood vessel, so thin, right? Mm -hmm. And it is coming out of the aorta, dorsal aorta right here, okay? And look where it is going. 
It is going into the. It is going into the inguinal canal. Do you see? It is going into the inguinal canal, huh? And the inguinal canal is going to lead into. This is inguinal canal, okay? And through it comes out your spermatic cord, right? So this gonadal artery is the testicular artery, which is passing through the inguinal canal into the spermatic cord, and then it is going to the testes right here, okay? Now, we haven't uh, exposed the reproductive organs, hence you cannot see it clearly, but keep in mind the very thin vessels that you're going to see, like this one, this one. Okay, but it's broken, but this is testicular, but you can see no inguinal canal on either side. So hence you cannot trace it all the way to the testes because uh, it's already uh, damaged. And same as the case here, already damaged. So you cannot trace uh, the blood vessel. However, you can see pretty clearly iliolumbar, right? Iliolumbar and uh, adrenolumbar. So anyhow, we covered all the blood vessels uh, so far. Now we are going to go in the, um, now we are going to go and look at the blood vessels way down here. So let's look at this one. Okay, so the abdominal aorta or the descending aorta, it bifurcates, right, into two. You can see that, huh? Mm -hmm. And this is your external iliac. Then it gives off a branch, right, this one? which then divides into three. Okay, these are the two, and there is a third one in there. Can you see this red one? Okay, so let me pick all the three. Can you see all the three? Where did my forcep go? Okay, so now let's look at these three. Okay, so this is abdominal aorta. It divides into external iliacs, right? Which then is going to give us these two internal iliac arteries, right? So you can see these. And then right here, this red. Can you see this red? Blood vessel right here. This is your middle sacral. So now you can see all three, right? Internal iliacs and middle sacral. And let's see if it is more clear here. And it is not, this one is the most clear, okay? So any questions? Okay, so that ends the dissection.